Melee is three-dimensional, but the characters within the game are controlled on a 2D plane. Despite this discrepancy, Melee's extra dimension is normally reconciled quite well in-game. Sometimes, though, moves exist in this third dimension in ways they probably shouldn't. Here's legendary Yoshimane Amza getting fucked because of this. Okay, what is happening here, and can we fix it? Well, when it comes to moves existing in Melee's third dimension, Yoshi's dash grab is very third dimension-y, existing so deep into the positive or negative z-axis that it pretty easily goes right around less chunky characters of the cast. However, while it's certainly not prudent or good design, it is faithful to Yoshi's actual dash grab animation, which has Yoshi's head going off to the side. Fixing this is easy. All we have to do is move Yoshi's grab hitbox a few hundred units over, so that it emerges more toward his center, rather than his head's actual position. Easy. On the other end of Yoshi's Z-axis existence, though, his head veering off to the sides does have its benefits. Both Yoshi's jump squat and landing fall special animation have Yoshi's head move to his left, allowing a well-timed jump or wave dash from Yoshi to dodge projectiles like lasers, arrows, and shadow balls, and even some non-projectiles as well. Oh, and this thing too. Let's talk about a different kind of dimension, though. The temporal dimension. Time. The developers didn't have a lot of it, and by virtue of that, some characters didn't get enough either. But smaller still, some moves just don't have enough time to complete. Such is the case with Falcon's Up Air, which has three distinct hitboxes, two of which are accessible in-game, and one which is hidden from players forever existing in the game's code, but never actually appearing. Now, what's interesting is that it's impossible to tell if this hidden hitbox was truly accidental or not. Smash 64's Falcon has three different, functional, accessible up-air hitboxes, but like Melee, Brawl has two accessible hitboxes and one that's hidden, while Smash 4 and Ultimate just have two outright. Maybe they meant for it to be like this, and in lieu of removing the last hitbox completely, just hastily edited its starting frame to be beyond the active frames of the move. Or maybe... A tired developer, crashing from his 15th cup of coffee, faced with an impending deadline, erroneously changed Up Air's ending flag to be just one frame too early, accidentally cutting off this third hitbox, and this developer's small error went uncaught, even in the game's sequel. And because of this error, two hitboxes instead of three just became the standard for Falcons up there in every future title. But that's just speculation. Anyway, Ganondorf, Falcon's clone, does have access to this third semi-spike hitbox, known among community members as the Tipman. And we can't let a mid-tier be better than a top-tier in any regard, so let's give Falcon his hitbox. Like Yoshi's dash grab, fixing this is so easy a Marth main could do it. We simply add a few frames to the move's disable hitboxes flag, and there we go. Hey, here's another singular dimensional mistake in Melee. And here is Puff's up smash, which has two hitboxes, one inside the other. Now, these hitboxes are pretty much the same in terms of properties. They both do the same knockback and launch their opponents at the same angle. Where they differ is that this outer hitbox does 14% and this inner one does 15. Also, this inner one is impossible to hit. Try and try, but under tournament rules, you'll never see a Puff's Up Smash do anything more than 14. Without charging it, that is. This is due to Up Smash's hitbox IDs, numbers attributed to different collision bubbles of the same move. 
Parts of the move with a lower hitbox ID, such as this outer hitbox, take priority over parts with higher values, like this inner hitbox. Meaning if two collision bubbles of the same move come in contact with an opponent at the same time, only the effects of the higher priority bubble apply to the opponent. And because this stronger, lower priority bubble is entirely inside the weaker bubble, this strong hitbox may as well just not exist. This one seems like an honest mistake anyone could make. And you can probably guess how to fix it. Just swapping the IDs of the weak and strong parts of the move. And with that done, I've officially fixed every single issue in this game, ever. So, goodbye. Forever. Big thanks to Ben O, Brog, Cooper C, Dizzy, Dubs Rewatcher, Grarlic, GR Smash, I'm the Real Slayer, John L, Josiah B, Kitty Cat Addy, Lambs Respite, LRC Napkin, Matthew B, Moa, Pierce H, P Jiggles, PM Casey, Sega Monkey, Self Die Man, Shep Have You Tried Meditation, Soleil Suyon, Storm, The Big Bino, Turn Down for Walt, Wyverin, and Yashichi.